Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So here we are discussing the question zero array transformation three. So the problem states that you are given an integer array nums of length n and a 2D array queries where queries i equal to li comma ri. Each query i represents the following action on nums. Decrement the value at each index in range li to ri in nums by at most one. The amount by which the value is decremented can be chosen independently for each index. A zero array is an array with all its elements equal to zero. Return the maximum number of elements that can be removed from queries such that nums can still be converted to a zero query, zero array using the remaining queries. <coughs> if it is not possible to convert nums to a zero array, return minus one. So basically what we need to do is we can select any query from L to R and suppose my L is 0, R is 1. So it means from 0 to 1 I can select a part of the array and I can decrement each of its number by at most 1 which means it can be nums of 0. nums of 0 decremented by 1 or nums of 0 as it is which means nums of 0 minus 0 that is at most 1 so similarly for nums of 1 as well so like this we can do the operations and what we need is we need a 0 array with all elements equal to 0 which means the array which has all elements equal to 0. If that array is possible, we would return the number of queries which can be removed, the maximum number of elements that can be removed from the queries. So suppose I have here 0, 2, 0, 2 and 1, 1. So if I want to make it a 0 array, I know that I need to remove 2 from this and 2 from this. So from for 0th index, we can remove 1 at a time. From 2nd index, we can remove 1 at a time. At another query, we can do the same. For 0 index, remove 1 at a time. For 2nd index, remove 1 at a time. So from these two queries, the first two queries, we can convert nums to 0. If we can convert this nums to 0 by this two queries we don't need that third query so hence we can output one in this case because we can remove one query from this which is one comma one as it does not affect our output so let's think of a solution here so what we can do is first we can sort out these queries so when we sort, for this case it remains the same 0, 2, 0, 2 and 1, 1. Now after sorting what we can do is we can get the rightmost element, the maximum rightmost element which is present there. Because if, the, if that element is able to cover the whole array it is very good and we want that. So first of all we will find the rightmost element which can be present in the query so we keep the rightmost element here it is 2 2 and 1 so the first right is 2 the maximum one so maximum is 2 now we see the range of 2 so it is from 0 to 2 so for each 0 to 2 element we will subtract 1 which becomes 1 0 1 and hence one step is done now when this is done we will uh, put this 2 as done and this is removed from this deck now we take another 2 when we take another 2 we check it is also from 0 to 2 it becomes 0 0 0 and hence we are left with 
zero 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 with two as the removed one and we are left with one here now we have applied two queries which are zero comma two and zero comma two so our answer would be simply the size of the queries which was three minus the number of queries used which was two so hence our output is one in this case so whatever explained here like keeping the maximum rightmost element at the top and then querying for the range and then subtracting the number from the nums and keeping then the minimum one at the top in the another array and then repeating the same thing again and again till n number of times we would result in final conclusion of getting how much queries are needed to make the array zero and after that we would subtract that number from the total query size and that would return our answer so for this case as we want to keep the maximum rightmost element at the top we can use a max he pair and for the available elements we need to check suppose the available element was 0 comma 2 so we would keep the rightmost at the last means the smallest index at the top which we would be using mean he so why smallest element at the top we want smallest element at the top to check if that element is equal to the index that we are checking then we can remove that element simply because we don't need that in further calculations and it is waste to keep it there so just we can discard it and move forward so this would be the implementation what we are taking is a priority queue of available queries and a priority queue of applied queries so this is our max heap and this is our min heap so as i explained the purpose let's see how it goes so successfully applied queries are zero now and we have defined the size of the nums we have defined the index of the query we are starting with the first query here and then we iterate till whole array now when we see that index of query is less than the size of the query and the first element is equal to that index at which we are traversing the array so we will put that query in the available queries so for example we have here 0 comma 2 now in 0 comma 2 you check that queries of 0 comma 0 is equal to the index which is 0 which means the queries covering the element the starting element is the one at which we are standing so hence we will put it in the available queries but in available queries what will be the number that we will put it is 0 it is 2 because we want the rightmost index of it then we go to the next query for next query also we see 0 comma 2 is there and the query index is less than queries dot size and again it is equal to i so again we push 2 here so our uh, this is the available queries now we subtract the applied queries which are already applied from nums of i because that was already applied on that particular index also so for now applied queries was zero so nums of i remains as it is so our nums is two zero two as of now 
after doing this we move to the next so what is next now when we have put the available queries here now we will check if my available queries the top element which means the rightmost element is greater than or equal to the index at which we are standing okay so available queries top is 2 if 2 is greater than or equal to the index which is 0 yes it is so what we will do we will apply this query so 0 comma 2 is applied so our answer of successfully applied becomes 1 and now as we have applied this query we will put it in the applied queries so my applied queries become 2 available queries become 2 because we have popped out the element and my nums are reduced by 1 so it becomes 102 so this is pretty simple and if after this we check again so my nums of i is greater than 0 and not applied queries and available queries dot top greater than equal to i this would go on and as my nums of i is still greater than 0 and i have available query as 2 again it would be 2 successfully applied queries and nums of i would decrease by 1 so it will be 0 0 2 and hence the applied queries become 0 comma 2 and 0 comma 2 and uh, available queries are empty now nothing is left now we check after all this if still lumps of i is greater than 0 which means we have applied everything on that index which we can do but still if it is greater than 0 we would return minus 1 that means it is not possible but in this case the this is 0 and hence lumps of i is equal to 0 which is possible now we will empty this applied queries and keep available for the next index moving on to the next index we will check it again push it again apply all these things and then hence we will get our answer as 0 0 0 with the applied queries 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 so as we went through it only two times so successful applied queries are 2 and hence we return query dot size which is 3 minus applied queries that is 2 which returns our answer as 1 so hence just we are tracking with the rightmost element checking if the rightmost element the biggest element which we could have in the array that is there the biggest index we choose that biggest index and subtract that from the elements and then check and keep on checking like this and we put that biggest index in the applied queries at the top so that we discard that when it reaches to a particular index so if we are keeping 2 as the greatest index and we reach the index 2 so after that we would be checking for index 3 and we don't want any range of end index 2 so we remove all those queries from the applied queries here that's why 
we keep the applied queries as min heap and available queries as max heap so i hope you all understood the approach and also the solution which is written if there are any doubts or question please post it in the comments thanks for watching